Oh, hello there. Didn't see you coming in. Do you want tea or coffee? Oh, what I just did? Um, nothing really. I just added two new wave tables to my plugin now. Oh, that. <laughs> It's actually the first plugin I ever released. But it's also kind of a project I keep coming back to every once in a while. You see, before I made Nell, there weren't many dedicated vibrato plugins out there. Wow Control by Good Hertz is a great example for a vibrato plugin, where I would say it extends the idea of a vibrato in a meaningful way. With its tempo sync features, shape control, and randomizer, you can easily craft a non conventional yet cool vibrato. But most of the time plugins with vibrato features were released back then, the vibrato was amped into a tape degradation context. Dedicated tape plugins like Tape Cassette 2 by Callum Audio are great for adding an element of nostalgia to your music. But the vibrato itself is often just reduced to wow and flutter. Even in a plugin like Chow Tape, where you have to navigate four tabbed windows to use all the detailed parameters, the vibrato section is also just wow and flutter. Which is why I released Nell, my own vibrato plugin. First of all, it has no tape degradation features at all. If you want tape, you have to put, I don't know, a saturator or something behind it, or in front, whatever. You can blend between two modulators. Each of them can be one of six dedicated modulation types. Also, the plugin has sidechain audio, MIDI input features, look ahead, oversampling, feedback, mid-set processing, parameter randomization, four macros, and a lot of other stuff. You are watching Beats Basteln. I am Flore Mugala, and in this video, I wanna tell you more about the new wavetables that I added to Nell. I'll show you what they sound like and explain why I added them. On top of that, I will release another video soon, in which I explain my changes in the open source code base of my plugin. Wait for that video if you are interested to learn more about my rather simple little wavetable engine and the way I incorporate these wavetables. If you're using a Windows computer, you can update or download Nell right now from GitHub. I can't compile for Mac myself yet, which is why I can't easily upgrade the build, but there is a slightly earlier build of Nell there as well. As I mentioned before, this is a wavetable LFO. It originally came with three wavetables. The most typical modulation type of a vibrato is the sine wave. Plain simple. Because if you look at a good singer's vibrato in Melodyne, you will most likely see something that resembles a sine wave. I'm totally a professional singer. Sine wave vibratos alternate smoothly between pitching the signal up and down. The center of those pitch drifts is the original pitch, which is what makes it so pleasant. This is Karl Weierstrass, a mathematician who lived from 1815 to 1897. He went to school in the best city that exists on earth, Paderborn. And I'm totally not saying that because I come from there too. Sine waves made him really mad though. He could not stand how smooth they were. He felt so offended by sine waves, he almost became insane. Which is why he was frantically working on a new type of sine wave. A fractal sine wave that is never fully smooth, no matter how deep you zoom into it. This mentally deranged sine wave is called a Viastra sine wave. It is the first wavetable of Nell's LFO. It starts with a perfect sine wave, but the deeper you dial in the wavetable position parameter, the more complex it gets. Especially on lower rates, you can really feel the intricate depth of the fractal. While on higher rates, it is just a great way to add some noise. The second wave table is called Triangle. Do you want to hear what it sounds like? You were confused that this is not a square mod, weren't you? What can I say? Everything is a little bit different in the realms of vibrato. Oh, by the way, you can also twist the triangle mod to create waterfalls of upwards and downwards sweeps. Hum, 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 hum. hum. 
This is not a dick, but believe me, this curve is just as rudimental for life on Earth as we know it as reproductive organs. You are looking at a so-called sink curve. Sink curves are not only used in low-pass filters and oversamplers, but even in AD and DA converters. Without sync curves, digital audio would literally not sound good. I honored the sync curve by making it the third wavetable of NER. Due to its huge bump in the center of the waveform, it often sounds like a stumpy pitch dropout. If you interpolate to the phase shifted sync curve, you get a sound that is closer to a sine wave, but with a little valley at one of the zero crossings. Those are the three wavetables that have already been in Nell before the upgrade that I'm releasing right now. But now, there are two new wavetables to choose from. Have you ever wondered what it would sound like to hear a sine wave vibrato where the upper area of the waveform has a different length than the lower area? Welcome to the PWM wavetable. It modulates the pitch so drastically, it can make things sound almost like a siren. I will go into more detail about its origin in the upcoming coding video. Let's talk about the squeeze wavetable now. It enables you to squeeze a sine wave in various ways. I can't even explain why it sounds so sick, but when someone showed me this waveform, I instantly knew it needed to become part of NEL. And let's not forget about Nell's mix knob, shall we? Because even if my new wavetables are pretty extreme on their own, once you mix them with the dry signal, you receive a lush and unique chorus flavor. You can download Nell in the release section of its GitHub page right now, link in the description. In my next video I will show you how I added these new wavetables to my codebase. If you are a programmer or a passionate sound designer yourself and want to contribute wavetables or feature requests to my plugin, please come to my Discord group. The invite link is also in the video description. As you can probably tell by now, I can be quite picky about the wavetables I add to Nell. A good vibrato wavetable has to be continuous to transport a true vibrato feel, but it should also have an interesting background story and most importantly, it has to sound nice. Message me about your ideas and until then, just download the newest version of Nell and enjoy for yourself the new wavetables that are already in it.